In this video, we show you how to set up and use recipes in Unico HMI. Recipes are objects where you can store different configurations of variables. A recipe is always made by a set of variables or other objects with specific values. This time we will use another project, which is similar to the previous one. Nevertheless, you will be able to follow easily. Let us start. Go to the project view, open your UI and create a new panel. You can use one of your existing as template or create a complete new one. Rename it and make sure that on the right side all the properties are fine for you. A recipe requires a data storage. For this reason, we have to create a new data storage. Go to data stores. You can use one of your existing ones again, or you can create a new one. Open the context menu, select new, embedded database. And we recommend to create a new one because then you will get a better structure for your project. Now we can go to the recipes folder and create a new recipe scheme. Open the context menu with a right click, select new and recipe scheme. On the right side, you'll see the properties. Here we have to insert our data storage. So select your new creator created database drag and drop it to the store property. You will see the target node. This requires another object. And for this purpose, we will create a new object. Go back to the project view, select model, open the context menu and create a new object. This object will contain our variables for the recipe. So let's rename it, will be motor1. And now we have to tell this object that it contains other variables. You have two possibilities how to do this. Select the motor object, open the context menu with the right mouse click, new, all, model, and variable. This will add an variable to this motor object, which you will see on the right side. Let's rename it. Our motor will be described by two variables, temperature and rounds per minute. And the second way how to add a variable, very easy, is go to the add new icon and just select the variable. If this is done, we can go back to the recipe scheme, open the properties you see on the right side, and now we can drag and drop the motor object to the target node. Now we can open the editor of the recipe scheme by double clicking on this small icon on the right side, and now we can select the variables which are needed in our recipe scheme. Click on apply and that's it. You can store more than one recipe in a single recipe scheme. Because you want to change values of the recipe, you want to switch between different configurations and maybe you want to create new ones at runtime. Therefore, you need an editor for this recipe. So we are going now back to our recipe screen, open that one. And now we can open our library, go to widgets and drag and drop the recipe editor to our screen. Align the recipe editor to your screen properties.
And now we have to tell the editor the recipe scheme to whom it should refer. Drag and drop the recipe scheme to this property. To make the editor suitable for the recipe, we need to run the recipe editor setup. Open the context menu of the recipe editor and select execute setup and you will see the editor automatically filled with the needed elements. Now let's make sure that our navigation panel will have a reference to our recipe page. Drag and drop the recipe here and now let's try or let's run our emulator. Now go to the recipe tab and you will see our two variables of the motor object and now we can create recipes. First one will be test one. You can enter values and save them to the test one. You can also create a new one, change the values, save it, and then you can switch between both recipes. And if you would like to load the values, then you have to select the recipe and click on apply. Thank you very much for watching.